Hey there, I'm Andrew from MS Power User, and today we're taking a look at Windows 10S. Previously known by its code name Windows Cloud, Windows 10S will begin shipping on a variety of Windows devices soon, including Microsoft's very own Surface Laptop. While there aren't too many differences you'll see in Windows 10S, the most obvious one from the start is that the desktop wallpaper is different. It's a simplified version of the default Windows 10 wallpaper we've all come to know and love, and represents what Windows 10S really is. It's Windows 10, but some things just aren't there. You might be wondering about what those things are, and the primary difference is that you aren't able to run whatever Win32 application you want with Windows 10S. For those who aren't familiar, Win32 applications are what you'd call classic Windows apps. They're installed outside of the Windows Store, and you'll often have to run an installer to use them at all. With the Creators update, it became possible to block random applications from running on your PC, but it was completely opt-in, and previously installed Win32 applications were completely exempt from the block. Windows 10S has that setting permanently on, and the only way to disable it is to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. That isn't a hardware-based limitation like in Windows RT, which ran on ARM processors. It's completely software-based. However, upgrading to Windows 10 Pro is mostly painless. In fact, if you own a Surface laptop, you'll be able to get it completely free before the end of 2017. Anyone who buys a different device with Windows 10S, or a Surface laptop after the end of the free upgrade period for that matter, will end up having to pay $49 to upgrade. For comparison, upgrading from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro will cost you $100. It's not all bad if you aren't able to upgrade, however. Windows 10S is still able to run every desktop app in the Windows Store, including Win32 applications which have been converted through Project Centennial, which makes it possible for almost any regular Windows application to come to the Windows Store. Current apps brought to the store through Project Centennial include Evernote, Kodi, and even Adobe Photoshop Elements. Additionally, some light gaming is still possible. While Windows 10S devices might not have the horsepower to run Halo 5 Forge, Gears of War 4, or Forza Horizon 3, you'll likely be able to run the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft, Halo Spartan Assault, and a variety of other less demanding titles. Additionally, while you might not be able to get Google Chrome, Steam, or Visual Studio from the Windows Store at the moment, Microsoft is working with a variety of developers to bring their programs to the Windows Store, and that includes Spotify, which will become available in early June. And you might not even want to run some of the programs you can't get in the Windows Store on some of these devices anyways. Windows 10S is primarily targeted at cheaper, lower-cost devices. And while it might show up on more high-end devices as well, if the Surface Laptop is any indication, the majority will still be lower-end. Additionally, Microsoft is bringing the full desktop Office suite to the Windows Store. Office mobile apps were previously available, but they still lacked some functionality from their full desktop counterparts, and touchscreen users were their primary focus. There's some other areas that get locked down in Windows 10S as well. Browser and search engine choice. Aside from the fact that there's very few browsers to find in the Windows Store, and that most of them are edge at the core, you can't change your default browser, even if you had another option. It's forever locked to Microsoft Edge, and Edge's search engine in Windows 10S is forever locked to Bing. While browser choice might not be the biggest issue on a device where you only have one choice worth using anyways, search engine choice certainly is. All searches through Edge's URL bar will go through Bing, with no way around it. This mirrors Cortana, which will only open Microsoft Edge and Bing for web searches, regardless of your default browser, and on all versions of Windows 10. Windows 10S will begin shipping on a variety of devices next month, and you can stay tuned to MSPowerUser.com to see all coverage of the latest Microsoft news as it happens. Additionally, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch videos about this recent news as it happens, and our very own podcast. Thanks for watching.